What you wanna what? do? You think I'm about what you wanna do? What? I come down this my <laughs> level, beat your ass down here. Why? Okay, you just a female, a dumb female. Bless the window. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm not gonna let you. What's up, people? Welcome back and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of craziness on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, smoking grandma. This elderly woman enters and asks to get her money returned. Evidently, she is not happy that they sold her a phony handbag. Just wait and watch how this thing plays out. I paid you $500 for this purse. I want my money back. This purse is fake. Let me gain my composure before anybody... Don't gain your composure. Before somebody goes... Give me slim. my money back. You sold me a slim. fake purse. And I want my money back. Give you don't need a second. Ma'am, do you have the receipt? You know, I didn't give you a second when I gave you my money. Well, she just made the point of the year, honestly. I love this grandma's attitude, but I'm sensing some trouble on the way. No, that's how to start. So when did you buy it? I bought it a week ago. From me? From you. This is tarnished. You know what that stands for? What is that? I want my money. She returns, claiming that this purse brand is an acronym for Leslie's asshole, just when I was beginning to think that this was actually going to work out for her. Hello, what is wrong with you? To be honest, she reminds me of no granny. Yo. Ain't no I'm deal. trying to be professional give and I'm trying money. to give you courtesy. That's all I want is my money. Give me a card, because I'm gonna sue your ass. Okay, I'll see you in court. Bust the window. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm not gonna let you. Put ass mother Go ahead. Whatever. She does not remind me of my grandmother. However, I adore the way she took out her cigarette as though she were outside or that this was her house. Bring your son. Byron will demonstrate for him. Number two, swimming pool. A guy walks in with a big box full of mystery, and I actually wonder what he got with him because it looks very intriguing. Let's check it out together. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Very good. So what you got in the box? What I've got here, Les? Well, anyway, is a 1950s above ground salesman sample swimming pool. In the 1950s, Sales reps used to carry miniature models of the items that they sell. I love this kind of stuff. Well, Les, we know you love your money, so I'm guessing this swimming pool is worth a lot, eh? Let's see what we're gonna do with this one. So how much did you want for this thing? Well, I did some research, and I was thinking maybe 600 bucks for the piece. 500? Keep going, you're on the right track, <laughs> but you have a ways to go. You want me to be fair with you and tell you what I think it should bring? Sure. 100 bucks. Goddamn. What are you, a hundred bucks? I mean, this is literally what we call a masterpiece, and you're just undermining its value? Shame on you, Les. 200 bucks it is. 200 bucks it is. Thank you yes, very sir. much. Thank Add you, it sir. to our collection. Book, $200 for a salesman sample pool. I'm really happy because I understand antiques. Follow him and he'll take care of you. And I know we're gonna make a profit. 200 bucks is still nearly nothing for this one. But as long as this guy is okay with the price, who am I to judge? Congratulations to both. A tough negotiation for sure. Seth saw the suitcase, everyone. He saw the suitcase, everyone. I don't know what the hell is about to happen, but I know it ain't good. Good luck, Les. What is this? <laughs> Seth and Ashley are done with this, like done done. They are stupid of this crap. But was I the only one who thought this might be actually very valuable? I'm becoming like Les. Had this talk before and you're at it again. I don't have a problem buying this stuff. Dad, you do have a problem. You cannot stop yourself. We have no room for this. Have you walked in the back? I'll tell you what, stop giving me about the watch bands. I'll buy less stuff. Will that make you happy? Yeah. What's a start? Be careful with this, Seth. Les was pissed as hell because of his two kids. I mean, it's his business, so leave him be. I get it's your business too, but as long as he's alive, be grateful. But Les, listen to your kids. Number three, grandma necklace. A guy walks into the pawn shop to try and sell his grandma's necklace, and he's looking for a certain price that's actually quite impossible for different reasons. Check it out. 2,000. Mm -hmm. Problem with it is, it's not real. What you mean is this is not gold. As you can see, the color's coming off. No, 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 no. See, jury cleaner would do just a perfect job on it. It you won't know? because this is copper. He's getting pretty mad, everyone. And I'm honestly not here for it. So let's hope shit does not go south because his ass will be kicked out. But shit is heating up for sure. Because I know my jury. Really? Yep. What is this piece called? That's, that's the, uh, the uh, magnifying glass. Mm -mm. What is it called? A jeweler's loop. Huh? A jeweler's loop. I can't give you any money. I'm kidding. Nope. What about him repeating his question for the millionth time? No, man. Les is not kidding you for sure. You are getting nothing. Not a thing. Mm, nothing. I'm not leaving out of here with no money, man. Mm. Give me somebody else up in there that's He's going to help you to find hey, someone. To, uh, Apparently, I know nothing. Nothing. Call it nothing. Call it knowing. 
But what's actually funny is that he actually started talking about getting nothing when I told him that previously. Damn, I'm a genius. But thank God he's out. Number four, PlayStation. A man enters seeking to purchase a PlayStation 3, but he has an extremely tight budget. And it seems like he doesn't like the direction things is headed. What then are our options at this time? I've seen him for 70 to 80 dollars at other pawn shops. 70 dollars is a good deposit if you want. You can make payments every 30 days. This is bull Okay, I'm laughing so hard right now that I'm crying. The manner that when Byron hears someone yelling and screaming, he appears out of nowhere. I need a PlayStation 3 for $70 I saw him for 100 bucks. That is ridiculous. All oh, I got is 70 Well, there's only gonna be one other person you're about to talk to, and if you keep your voice raised like that, we'll be more than happy to speak with you. What you gonna do? I don't know. Throw it down. Throw it on the 70 bucks. Oh. It appears that our man has very little cash on him. Given that he doesn't even have a single dime on him, then why in the world would he want this PlayStation 3 for 70 bucks? What you wanna what do? You think I'm about what seven you bucks? wanna do? What? I come down this my <laughs> level, beat your ass down here. What? You think you want that, oh, bitch? You got a full 12 pack, six pack, and a couple empties in there, buddy. What? You big. He's as large as it gets, not bigger than that, please. However, I have a few issues, one of which is, how can a guy this size drop and stand back up this easily? Number five, purse owner. This woman walks into the store and claims that one of the handbags on display is hers, and she wants it returned right now. Honey, hold your horses. That's my purse right there. That one right there, the black one. So I wanna know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you Money. know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. If you don't give me the purse, I'm gonna climb over the counter and get it myself. Slip over the counter and self-apply. If you don't genuinely come to terms with yourself, you'll end up exiting, but not on your own terms. Can I look at it? You wanna buy it? I just wanna look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a at idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm gonna come over that counter and get it myself. What's it gonna be? Okay. Oh my God. She was obviously out of her mind when she did that, but our guy Byron will take her brain out of her ass and put it back in the appropriate spot. Have a nice day. Let's go. Oh, Walk what? yourself out, young yeah. you. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Bitch! Go where you got to go. I'm gonna kick your go. ass, you wait! Go. To be honest, this woman was a real handful. Every time she opened her lips for no apparent reason, I mean, I became tired of her. Speaking of reason, for God's sake, be reasonable. Number six, throws fit. This young man is trying to get his ring back, and it seems like he's getting married this weekend. But after all that turmoil, will he make it to the wedding? On all layaways, payments have to be made every 30 days. Okay, so I'm late. I can pay a late fee. If you miss your layaway payment, items get pulled and put back to stock. I can issue you a store credit, and we can go and see if your item is still in the showcase. You're going to give me my $4,000 store credit? No. So what we do is we take 10%. His hand motion and the look on his face simply tell me that he was thinking to himself, bitch, please. It's virtually audible, literally. Your mistake, your consequences. Mm-mm, that's... It's not you in look here. look that fast? I'm quick. It was a really distinctive ring. You didn't even, like, browse. I don't want to so browse. I want my you. ring. I want my ring. That's all I want. The ring that I put on hold. It's getting to the point where it's becoming irritating. So I'm going to put your request on hold and have you leave the store. If you wanted it that badly, you would have been in here on time. Bitch, no. I just want the f ring. The bitch, one that yes. I paid You're for. You're not going to call me that a bitch that you in are. store. Bitch, yeah, my... no. I want my yeah. mother ring. Why you got to Nobody calls me a bitch. Nothing. And I'm thankful for everything you did not get asked for. These clients are getting more and more erratic by the moment, for crying out loud. How is the gold household run? Number seven, massage chair. Searching for something unique, a woman dressed in pink is making her way around the store. She doesn't seem to like the price at all for that particular object, which is a massage chair. Examine it. We have it right here, right no, now. No, you can get it for free. For, for free? shipping, yeah. Oh, free shipping? Yeah, free shipping. Yeah, those you are $125. I give you 20 I have more money in it than $20. Oh, yes, you can sell it for 20 I could, but then I would lose money, and then... You are getting a little too loud, you can bring it down a ton. What a shame. Really, all she did was make a mistake. The worst action of all. Les is only stating the pricing and the rationale behind it. I don't see why you addressed him in that manner. You should relax. You can give it to me for 20 I can't lose money. Why the f*** did you lose the money? You want to hear the story? Hell no, I don't want to hear the no person, damn story. The person that I, I just bought want this the from. damn chair. I want the chair for $20. Either you're going to give me this damn chair, or we're going to have a fit up in here. It's over here for? I like big men.
You're officially the unluckiest person on the planet. Now that I think about it, Byron could like you too. Hold on, let me make that right. I think you should leave this place immediately. Let's have a good day. Yeah, let's yeah, dine. Did you reach your hand? Yeah, yeah. As soon as you walk quicker. I know very well. Yeah, yeah. You didn't put yeah. your hand uh, 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 on me. Y'all got me up. Oh, did you just throw my mother? I know mother oh. my mother. The woman took the wig off and looked like little Richard. I want to go home. Holy mackerel. Strangely enough, I envisioned the wig falling off before it really occurred. Why not remove anything else after taking off her slippers? And that's just what transpired. Girl, damn. Number eight, power steamer. A guy walks into the store looking for a power steamer, and Ashley is the only one there to help him because Seth and Leslie went on a trip to go buy something. Check it out. I'm looking for a power steamer. Power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer. So, a power washer. Power washer. It's going to be right here. How many RPMs? It's a... GPM. Where's your worker? I, I'm a worker. I can help you. You don't know about tools. Okay, you're just a female, a dumb female. You're just a female, a dumb female. Wow, this guy is honestly so low for brutally saying that. I think nowadays all the so-called females will hunt you down and stop your misogynistic ass. Okay, well, what you standing here for? I'm over here with her. She gonna help me. No, she can't help me. I need a guy to help me. Oh, trust me, she can help you. No, she can't help me. Okay, she's stupid female. How's that? Because she don't know what I want. She can't be too stupid, she own a store. Oh, the security guy's reply just made this guy question everything he said towards Ashley. Because yes, my guy, this is literally one of the owners. Okay, we outside. What's okay. going on? Okay, so put your money where your mouth is. Your you want to do anything. My money right here. Last man spanked me was a damn doctor. I'm looking for him. Okay, well, we'll do that then. You have a nice day. You know! Seems that a girl broke his heart and broke him in general, Ashley. But this security guy is now officially my favorite. He did show him the money, and his reply about the doctor got me cracked. Number nine, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet, there's another major issue we have. Look into this. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. When you sold us the merchandise, you got a ticket. No, I so lost where is it. it. You lost it? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want me to do? She sold us the merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later, wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Okay, so I just make a phone call. A little My phone brother call? brother be up here to handle y'all mother ass. Come with me. No, Please, ma'am, come with me. Nobody threatens me without a response. This is okay. my chair. So you need you to really, get up. You, you need to get up. You need to I'm get up. I'm not getting up. Get up. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really? She answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. That's where my car at. Damn. Bitch, move. I'm probably mad too, you know what I'm saying? I let just wait in her head now. Ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> It seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number 10, more green. This is not the first time the woman has come in or pawned the same item here. She is approaching the window directly in an attempt to pawn her jewelry. Look it over. We're gonna get 250 today. Oh, uh, they usually give me three. Okay, gold drops, so. Uh, that's not my problem with gold drops. Well, you're gonna get 250. Get a manager. 250. No, not 250. I wanna speak to your manager. So, what price did you give her? 250. And you need how much? Three. Okay. Just because the price of gold is going down, that's not my problem. Nikki, you stupid ass. Were you just mocking? In fact, your entire existence disgusts me greatly. If you keep acting that way, I just have to tell you to get the hell out. No, I want my $50. You got no, the $50. If you want to, no, come give me money. my extra $50. Come on! Come on! This is exactly what we feared would happen when customers get offered less than what they're used to have to admit, I kind of enjoy it when she yells, come on, how therefore can she expect that charge given the recent decline in the price of gold and honey? This is a genuine dialogue. You had to bring him around because you scared? I'm not scared. Now let's go the f outside. Let's go. Here you let's go. go. F everybody in here. You ain't big. Have a good day. Have a good you day. ain't big. No, I will day. drop you. Have a good day. American jewelry pawn, whatever you are. Yes, 
This woman lost it. There's no mother freaking doubt about it. Is she really so sure she can handle Byron? That is simply too cute. Yes, good luck with that. Number 11, line cutting. A man simply walks by all of these folks who are lining up to claim their TV back as if he owned the place. He just cut in line for his crap. Examine it. Oh my God, why are people always acting so cuckoo in here? I don't have to put up with all this. You just put up with all what? Everybody be cutting in line. Who's cutting in line? Everybody. Okay, if you start another second, I'm gonna come out there. I don't care what you coming out here. Oh, so he underestimated Ashley and yelled at her, which was a huge mistake. Oh no. Oh my God, no. Why doesn't he just mention that everyone is cutting in line? Whatever, man. No. That gave my TV. No. Number one, I'm a girl, not a man. Number two, I'm right here, not over there. They just cut in line before I did. So Anybody I cut in line after they did. Line Knowing these consumers, I can easily imagine that something would immediately pop out and reveal that, yes, someone was cutting in line. If that's the case, then I'm going to trust everyone. And I want your ass out of the store now! Man, you better watch out, man. Man, that's all I asked for in my TV, man. Man, whatever, man. cut in line here, bud. You can't follow the rules. You need to leave the store. This dude was creating an absurd amount of drama. He could have won his television if he had been in line like everyone else.